every single human being needs spirulina regardless of the health condition he can be kidney damage he can be cancer he can be breast cancer he can be a dialysis patient everyone needs spirulina the lot of conspiracy going on breast cancer cannot take spirulina dialysis patient cannot take spirulina all this is a myth What is it about the properties of a barely visible water weed called spirulina that have got even President Obama's family so interested? In 1974, at the United Nations World Food Conference, it was announced that spirulina is the most ideal food for mankind. But what exactly is the blue-green alga called spirulina? It is a simple one-celled form of alga. reaching sizes of 0.3 to 1 mm in length these cells are able to capture the energy of the sun and utilize the nutrients in their watery environment then through a photosynthetic reaction the cells produce protein sugars fatty acids and vitamins as well as all the important minerals our bodies need How is it that such a small cellular form should contain all the strength of life's vital forces? Nutrition is derived from the soil, the mother nature. So, in spirulina, you get that quality kind of nutrition. So that's where the spirulina will become very essential. Okay, see in Pakistan, back in Pakistan, okay, they took hundred students, hundred kids for night blind, and they exam give them uh, spirulina for night blind. We medically know that night blind is vitamin A deficiency, but vitamin A was given free by to all these kids. Nothing happened. Night blind was getting worse. Many many kids has been affected with night blind. and they also have a lot of vision issues and all then after the dxn project finish 99 students were recovered and even that one student after 3 months the child was recovered so 100% recovery was there the question is what is in spirulina we don't know the god knows what in spirulina the mother nature does it we just put it in the pond and we keep harvesting and harvesting harvesting every 14 days once and also we get the best cultured uh, you know um, uh, spirulina and every uh, uh, weekly they will be pumping and filtering and putting back the best and dry put it back the best so we have the best spirulina in the world and dxn is 29 years old company and our spirulina gene is 29 years old and our dinoderma is also 29 years old okay it comes from the best of the best of the best of the best if anybody out there want to come and do a uh, spirulina equivalent to dxn it takes another 29 years by then we are already 60 over years already okay <clears throat> so this is the quality side i'm talking so every one every single human being needs spirulina regardless of the health condition he can be kidney damage he can be cancer he can be breast cancer he can be a dialysis patient everyone needs spirulina the lot of conspiracy going on breast cancer cannot take spirulina dialysis patient cannot take spirulina all this is a myth okay it is not true all right there's so many studies out there is been written on spirulina go and google go and search for this kind of materials is written spirulina has renal disease spirulina has uh, 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 what the kidney stone issues and spirulina also helps for breast cancer is one of the most important uh, uh, for cancer 
Doctors may give wrong information, claiming that spirulina is not good for that, not good for this. You cannot go and ask the wrong person. Doctors is the last one you should talk about food. Why? We do not get right amount of information. Today, most probably, there some doctors are listening to this talk here. Don't get me wrong. Why? We do not cover that much in our syllabus as in a medical student. Okay? Just imagine, we finish five and a half years studying surgical and chemical. The same dietitian studies for another three years only on diet, on, on vitamins. So, we, what we know is a little tiny little fish in the ocean. The knowledge is so abundant. Human system is unmeasurable, unpredictable. We are predicting and measuring something which is unmeasurable and unpredictable. So human system is extremely mind-blowing powerful. So medical is just a guideline and extremely powerful in emergency situation. Okay? If you break your leg, run to the emergency department. If you have a cardiac arrest, run to the emergency department. If you have a flu, don't go and torture us there. If you have a diarrhea, don't come and tell us, you know, you have diarrhea, you know, doctor, give me an injection. All this, you know, it is uh, not really, you know, what we want. There. But what to do now? Every single thing you come because your company is paying for it. So you'll come and, you know, very happily you want to take medicine. And also the another most important is medical certificate. Okay. So this is what it is so everyone needs rg everyone needs spirulina a likely solution for recovery from malnutrition